back to my channel, Watson Grove. It's your girl, Anna. And in today's video, I want to share with you about my hair journey over the course of my life because tomorrow I am going to get permanent hair extensions for the first time. And this is something that I decided to do uh, just a couple weeks ago. I got a consultation after my cousin got them and convinced me to do it. So I decided that I wanted to talk about the course of my hair because as you can tell right now, I have very short hair. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, I had always had short hair. This is kind of a new thing. So I kind of wanted to show how my hair has progressed over the last few years and kind of why I've decided to get these extensions. And so by the end of this video, you will see the final reveal. But I have accumulated a slideshow of photos of me through the course of my life and originally I was going to do a voiceover over that and have it as a video but I decided that some of the things like I wanted to be able to like pause and talk about so I am recording this video and I will be playing the photos over this and you know be able to talk about them so that is what we're going to do today so we are going to go way back in time and kind of start from young anna and kind of move forward and so please be mindful and respectful in the comments because you will be seeing very many <laughs> old photos of me and so please be nice okay before i get started into the slideshow i just wanted to kind of give a little bit of a back story obviously that i'll talk about but i pretty much have always hated my hair even going back through these photos there has definitely been times that i've liked my hair more than others but just in a general sense i pretty much have always had very fine thin hair and i've always struggled with it pretty much my whole life so that being said let's get started so first we are going to look at little baby anna not baby but five-year-old Anna okay and I actually did have relatively long hair it's kind of a little photo and then this picture also any pictures that I have with people in it I will have blurred out for their privacy so this is a picture of me and my cousin because when we were growing up people actually thought that we looked like twins so you saw the previous photo was me at five years old with long hair this is probably like first or second grade so only like one or two years later and we both got the same haircut i know you can't really see hers because i blurred her face but we both have very like short hair like shorter than i have now but then it did kind of grow out this is us kind of back with our little bit longer hair i think this is probably maybe like third grade or so we kind of kept a similar style growing up and then i couldn't find that many photos between then and this is in 2006 obviously there are a couple photos that i wanted to include in this but i couldn't find them for reference so I'm sorry. This is me in, you know, elementary school. So still had, you know, relatively long-ish hair, okay? But then, I don't know when, this was pretty much my stereotypical haircut in high school. Okay, so 2009, this was my freshman year of high school. So with this like kind of short-ish medium length hair and this face framing was kind of my stereotypical like go-to hairdo but then my sophomore year i ended up getting my hair cut i went in for a cut and they cut it too short so this is my hair sophomore year um and this is the last time besides how my hair is right now that i remember it being like this short um this is when i was in california so my hair is a little bit 
more on the natural side because as I will talk about later, I do actually have naturally wavy hair. I'll talk about that, but I had this kind of short bobbish hair for, you know, pretty much the entirety of 2010 to 2011. This is at prom with it curled, like super curled. I don't know who let me not like let these be such ringlet curls but anyway yeah so as you can see like my hair is relatively like I have like a lot of it I guess like it's the density it was pretty good um, it's just obviously short at this time so then moving forward, started to grow out just a little bit. I still have kind of those face framing. This was, yeah, for homecoming a little bit longer. Then this is kind of going into sophomore year. And then here this is with my natural hair, okay? So I hated my natural hair, okay? So this was very weird for me to have natural hair. I used to straighten or curl my hair literally every day. So having it natural was not a thing that I did typically, but my boyfriend at the time actually was like, oh, I like your natural hair. So that's why I started wearing it that way. Then um, this is uh, 2013 was my senior year. So I got a haircut with um, some bangs. As you'll see, I kind of progress back and forth between not having bangs and having bangs. So that's kind of been a thing that I've gone through. So then for prom, this is without any hair extensions. And then this is with hair extensions. So my cousin actually helped me, not helped me, my cousin, <laughs> let me borrow her hair extensions for my prom basically because I wanted to have like longer hair. Give me her hair extensions and then I pretty much wore the heck out of those same hair extensions for the next like year or two because I just loved the way that it had my hair look. I loved it being longer and fuller. So pretty much, yeah, once I started college, I wore these so much. I absolutely loved them. Even curled. And yeah, like I said, they had like a weird, like, because I was more blonde, obviously, from these photos. I got my hair highlighted blonde all through high school and so these extensions like they relatively matched me but not like perfectly but i didn't care i wore them anyway yep still you know wearing the extensions the majority of the time comparison so without extensions compared to with extensions so it just gave me just that little bit of length and fullness that I liked and then also during my freshman year I started using sunin which turned my hair into this weird like strawberry blonde looking stuff yeah it's it's a little bit crazy. So these next photos, this is the beginning of my sophomore year of college. And yeah, I love this photo. So cute, I love that shirt. And then I got a haircut and straight bangs again. So this was, yeah, full blonde <laughs> with bangs, okay. Had that for, you know, a little bit of time. And then it grew out obviously a little bit and I did not like it. So I decided that this was the beginning of my hair box dyeing era, okay? So I dyed my hair and it turned into this weird like 
neutral color. I don't even know what you call this. And I didn't really like it. It was kind of weird looking. It wasn't brown. It wasn't blonde. It was kind of just a weird color. And you can't tell by these photos, like with my hair curled, but my hair felt so weird. I don't know. But then I decided to dye it again. And I know the lighting is not very good in these photos, but it was more blonde because I didn't like it. So this is a little bit better representation um, of kind of the more blondness. This is when I bought my Sentra RIP because I just got a new car. And then I apparently dyed my hair again i don't know why but like i said that was my box dye era so then i decided to i was done with the blonde and i wanted to go back natural so i ended up actually dyeing it brown okay but then for some weird reason i think i had accidentally started still using the blonde conditioner when I had brown hair and it ended up turning like a little bit weird with this <laughs> I have to explain here for a second so this collage okay so starting from the top left was my before and then I got a haircut so just kind of evening out like my layers and then the bottom left this lady bleached my hair, okay? So going on to the next slide so you can kind of look at it a little bit closer. I, yes, was a bleach blonde for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it was uh, gnarly. I went in there for a balayage, okay? Because I wanted to kind of, you know, have it be a little bit more natural. And for some reason, this woman decided to bleach my hair. And I told her that I was not going to leave the salon like that. So she put toner into it. And then it turned this color, which she called neutral beige, which sort of reminded me of that weird beige color that I just mentioned from the box dye earlier that I really didn't like. Yeah. And this photo doesn't even explain or show you how pretty much gray my hair looked like i do not describe it as beige it basically was gray and i was not a very happy camper so i didn't include this is kind of afterwards but i did actually go back and she ended up redoing it into like a brown and that was i don't know if i had a date that was october because i did it around my birthday so then by february this is kind of what my hair ended up looking like not too bad but then i think because of the bleachedness um the blonde started coming back through because i did not dye my hair again like so the picture from march 2016 on um, the sex photo my hair was like basically blonde. Like, I don't know what happened. And then I um, was in my friend's wedding and wanted to get, you know, wanted to have longer hair because I was the only bridesmaid with short hair. So I ended up getting these extensions from Amazon. They were not the best quality. They were not very good, but you know, it was what it was so here i am with my fake blonde extensions and then i kind of embraced my natural wave a little bit more um this is what it looked like straight but this is what it looked like natural and i also started to as i ended up getting a lot of layers and so with my natural wavy hair these layers like look really nice i wanted to like grow my hair out so i started having you know more natural wave but trying to let that grow out and then my ends were a little bit more blonde um because i was just basically trying to grow all of that out so then by graduation this is pretty much like almost 100 percent my natural like hair color might have a little bit 
of blonde at the ends but not too bad these um photos that my cousin took were pretty much my full natural color for the most part and i didn't really wear extensions much anymore because i wasn't blonde because you know i was growing my hair out so yeah, I was embracing my natural color. I was trying to get my hair healthy again from having that horrible balayage. That was like my main goal was to have it as natural, healthy as possible. So it actually started go growing out pretty good. I think I got another haircut. I don't exactly remember, but yeah, my hair like, you know, was thicker and actually felt like a lot healthier and I still was trying to grow out any of that extra blonde okay. and then these 2018 photos like is no more blonde like completely my own color so this was when i ended up buying new extensions so these are my fancy hair extensions i got ones that you know were more matched to my darker hair now and i loved these extensions i wore the crap out of them because like i said even though i was growing my hair out I still like wanted long Rapunzel hair that's like always been my dream so my hair is still thin but yeah without the extensions they were a lot it was a lot thinner so I liked having the versatility of extensions in this progress photo you can kind of see my my layers so that 2017 photo you can see my layers and then I was trying to kind of even my hair out so that's why I did the cut and then you can see the progress of my hair growing out um and being kind of more one layer which is what I was working on so again I was just yeah focusing on trying to even out my layers at this point so getting more of like blunt cuts for the most part and these photos from 2018 was like what I remember like having short hair to be like and compared to how my hair is now it just is totally different which obviously we will get into. So then I got highlights again for the first time in two years because I just wanted to add a little bit more dimension to my hair. So I did get blonde highlights and I went back to the lady that highlighted my hair in high school because after that horrible balayage, I pretty much only trusted her to do my hair. As you'll see, I start kind of redoing my highlights every now and then. I took some other cool photos with my extensions. This is without extensions. And then I took a lot of photos um, in this uh, trip to Durango, mostly without my extensions. So this is with my hair straight, which like you can definitely tell how much thinner it is versus when it's curled like this. I think that it looks much more full when my hair is curled or wavy and then this picture like it says in in the caption um this was the first one that somebody asked me if I was wearing my extensions because my friends knew that I wore hair extensions I wore them to work and you know whatever and I finally could say that I wasn't wearing extensions in this photo and I was very proud of that so this is like when my hair started to like finally get long which I was very happy about it was all one length and like longer than it had been in forever just 
should recognize some of these photos. <laughs> okay, so then this is when PT school starts. They're still, you know, long and I was still, you know, having a good time with it. I still wore my extensions though, but this was my hair without extensions and it was still like pretty long like and, you know, relatively like healthy. Okay, so then these 2020 photos, you know that the COVID-19 pandemic hit in March of 2020. So that is when I started hair training and also kind of how my YouTube channel ended up first starting. So hair training is basically going longer between washes to literally like train your hair to not like overproduce oil um because i m usually all through high school i wash my hair literally every day i can't remember exactly how what my shower hair routine was in college but i definitely wash my hair like pretty often during hair training you go longer between washes so i would go like a week without washing my hair and then I started learning how to get my curls to last longer. So I would do these really tight curls and then let them like fade out over the days. I would wash my hair, get it curled, and then see the progression. So as you can kind of see, um, they start out really tight and then like by the end of the week, they're like relatively loose, like beachy weight. Like I said, I have a how I got my curls to last 10 days video on my channel. This was like, yeah, the start of like the real change of my hair growth. Like I literally can't believe my hair was this long. Like honestly, like looking back at these, I'm like, my hair was that long really like without extensions like almost like blows my mind i wanted to keep the length like as much as possible so when i got like a trim like literally can you see from this before and after like <laughs> i got like what an inch off the end cut off obviously got more blonde highlights because i usually go lighter during the summer and darker during the winter so that's kind of what I was trying to keep up with. So this was still like my summer vibe. And yeah, like I loved my hair during this time. This is the cover photo for my curl video in case you want to go watch that. <laughs> This video um, of my hair literally uh, just makes me want this hair back so bad. Like it was full, it was long, it was beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, uh, uh, I just am mind blown that this was my hair like three years ago, like absolute craziness. Yeah, still, still long, still beautiful, no complaints. Here's another video of difference between getting my before and after my hair done, my haircut. So it was still, yeah, you know, pretty, pretty long. Sorry for the bad camera ing. <laughs> uh, there you go, Anna. And after, don't ask me why my hair's not styled in any kind of way. This is probably like just blow dried. 
but just kind of, you know, evened out the bottom so it wasn't as crazy. That's what I, you know, because for some reason when my hair grew out, it always gets like this weird, like, U shape. So I just kind of kept trying to get it even. So then one thing that I do want to note that I think is an, is an important part of the story is I'm pretty sure during July of 2021 is when I stopped taking hormonal birth control. Um, because over the next, you know, two years, I had a lot of issues um, trying to like get my hormones back on track. When I stopped birth control, I didn't get a period for I think like four months. Then I got a period and then I didn't have a second one for a couple months. Just to be completely transparent because part of this, the reason why I'm making this video is because I do believe that that played a huge role in the transition of my hair that you will see. So just wanted to throw that out there into the story. So going forward, I still had, you know, pretty long, decent hair for the most part um, going through the end of 21. But I also was, um, so I was still in PT school during this whole time. During October, yeah, fall of 21, I was currently retaking um, my neuro class for PT school. So I was working part-time and through my neuro class and I had to pass that class. Otherwise I wouldn't like continue my PT journey, so. That's kind of what was going on during this fall of 2021 time. So this is another hair transition video, pre-cut pre and post-cut. Um, so this was me going into fall. So I actually transitioned into a darker color. So I went from my kind of lighter blonde highlights and transition into a little bit darker for fall. And again, get that kind of blunt, blunt cut so it's even. Okay, so still going pretty strong um, with the hair in the beginning of 2022. And then this is another kind of video. This is when I kind of started feeling like my hair might be thinning a little bit more. So I don't know if you can tell from the photo or the video that like it just doesn't seem as full as it used to be. Actually kind of on the, the ends. It just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have as much of that fullness. That's kind of when I first started to possibly notice a difference in my like hair density, I guess. Okay, so this is when I went to get a consultation for a halo. I actually drove down to a place in Glendale that does um, halo couture extensions. So the ones that kind of, you know, go right here. Obviously this wasn't like, you know, this has like a balayage basically and I would have gotten it like custom colored and all of that. I just like, and yeah, I would have gotten it, you know, custom to me, but I at least tried it on and, but they gave me like a cost estimate for it and it was going to be like hundreds of hundreds of dollars that I could not afford at this time. So I kind of had to wait on that. So again, this is my hair natural. These are my um, kind of grad photos that my aunt took. And then another transition video, which again, like you can just see the difference in like density compared to that, like 
amazing one that I mentioned like the difference in these compared to that is just crazy to me. Also life update during this time okay so I had been in so I had finished my class that I was retaking in PT school and then I started clinical rotations from January of 2022 to July of 2022. So I graduated PT school July of 2022. Then I started studying for boards, okay? So one of the other things, so not only did I have this hormonal imbalance that I was dealing with, but also the astronomical stress that I went through through PT school itself, clinical rotations, and studying for boards, which if you've taken a look at my channel, I have, you know, a whole section dedicated to my PT school, which, so I had to retake my boards three times. So during this August of 2022, I hadn't taken my boards yet for the first time. So this is right after I graduated PT school and was basically studying for boards and working. That's what was going on in my life at the time. And then this haircut wise, a couple things. First, obviously I went darker. So I decided that I wanted to go darker again, transitioning into starting a fall I know it was only August but I wanted to have darker hair and I was also really bored with having it all one length so I did decide to get kind of some face framing layers again but I wanted to have like a little bit of shorter bangs and my hairstylist didn't exactly do what I wanted um so I ended up going to a different hairstylist and I got baby bangs. <laughs> so she literally like I wanted like wispy like bangs. So yeah, I got little baby bangs and then I had face framing. Um, I am super excited. Also, yes, I have wispy bangs. So I didn't have a midlife crisis, I promise. I just wanted a change because my hair was really boring. So I have little wispy veins. Um, I do still curl my hair like I normally do. So like you can't really tell as much, but I do have like little face framing layers now as well. So yeah, but. Okay, so then like I said, I apparently have like no photos like December which then this is the next transition video that I took and like oh my gosh like my hair was just it was so thin obviously this is like very very dirty hair I don't know how long it had been since I washed it but like I it was so hard for you to tell on camera like how like I literally thought I was losing my hair. Like I thought that I was like balding or something. Like I cannot begin to tell you how much like I literally thought I was losing my hair. Sorry about the blurriness. So yeah, I did not like my hair at all. It was so thin and straggly I don't even know how to describe it it was just I hated it so again another transition video this kind of shows the grow out of my face framing a little bit and yeah it just it was it was not good so this was earlier this year 2023 like oh my gosh just look at my ends, ugh, they're so bad. Yeah, my bangs had not really grown out very well. Like my layers were not even, they were all over the place. So I did end up getting 
another trim the color um so it was a little bit better but yeah i don't know if you could tell very well on camera but i did kind of get like these like darker highlights you know so she did cut off a lot of my like you know dead ends but it's still like it's just not the same density and thickness that i had before you can literally tell like how thin it is like you can see my face like through my hair like it's just so thin <sighs> I actually ended up getting new extensions. I don't remember exactly when. I think it was somewhere around this time because my best friend's wedding was in April of 23. So I ended up getting extensions to match my darker hair. Um, I think I got them before that haircut that I just showed you. So then I started wearing my hair extensions a lot more because it was pretty much the only time that I felt confident that my hair wasn't as thin as like in this photo with my hair curled still like just seems so thin whereas before when my hair was curled it like looked a lot fuller but it was just it was so thin so then these are the photos that i took for another consultation to get a halo so um the same place that i went um to try one on they do like virtual consultations so they have you send photos of your hair so i sent them you know all these photos so they can color match you and everything and yeah but i obviously didn't end up going through with it like it says here uh, what you can't see is the literal breakage of my hair and I literally couldn't take it anymore so I chopped it and that is where my hair is now so I literally cut it like well I didn't cut it I went to a professional um the hairstylist that I normally go to so uh, I cut it to where all of my breakage was so I'm gonna show you on my hair right now so um obviously like you know it's supposed to be all one length but my before I chopped it my my breakage was literally like the length of my hair right now I mean probably a little bit shorter but like back here was like broken and then it was like a little like stringy like it was I had so much like volume right here at like the base of my head but then all of my ends were like dead um uh, hair you know right after I got it cut I also got blonde highlights again because <laughs> I started getting gray hair okay as a almost 30 year old Okay, don't tell anyone. I started getting gray hair, so I told her to give me highlights to try and hide the grays, literally. Then I ended up, so I took these next photos of my hair natural, and this was right before my consultation to get extensions. So as like you can see in these, like the top of my hair is like straight. So you can still see like how thin it is. But like, like you'll see here in a second, the base of my head, like, what is that? Like, why is it so curly? Like, I know my natural hair is like, cur like wavy like that. But like, why is it not all of my hair? Like, I literally don't understand. So this is the craziness that I am going through right now. So I am starting to get a little bit of kind of baby hairs growing in. Um, and when I had my consultation, she said that my density is actually really good. Like I have good hair density on my head, which is good, but I just don't have the length. But no matter what I do, I cannot figure out this like half curly, half straight situation. So I pretty much have to curl my hair or straighten my hair. Like I can't leave it natural like that. So today I curled it with a straightener, okay? So that's how I got these little baby waves that I have now. Yesterday I had my hair 
totally straight. And then today I just added some waves because I put in, you know, these little kind of guys. Okay, cute. Literally cannot stand how just thin my hair is anymore. And I do everything that you can possibly think of to like work on my hair. So I take a hair growth supplement. I started taking a supplement called Hair Love. I have been taking it for like two months now and I have started to see a difference because I, like I said, my hair was like, when it was thinning, was it literally falling out. Like I thought that I was just going bald and I was just losing my hair. Like in the shower, it would like fall out in like clumps. It was horrible and completely terrifying. So my hair loss that I've noticed in the shower is way less. So I don't know if that's the hair supplements or not, but I'm doing that. I recently within the last, I think three weeks got a um, soft water filter. So I got a Jolie water filter for my shower because I think that also may be another life thing that contributed to my hair was July of 2021 we moved to the apartment that we're in now and the water quality here is just way worse like we definitely have hard water so I think that was another contributing factor but yeah I sleep in a hair bonnet okay so to protect my hair that has silk on the inside and so like to reduce friction of my hair. I bought silk pillowcases to also reduce friction. I, yeah, I do literally everything. And then the past few weeks, my cousin gave me rosemary water. So she boiled rosemary and put it in a thing. Um, so I spray that on my roots and like massage it. I have a scalp massager um, that I also use. And I think that has helped like get like some of these little baby hairs like I do have some like new kind of growth happening okay so I think that's definitely helping but besides that like I just am not happy with the way that my hair is so that is why I decided to get the consultation for hair extensions and I'm doing it. So tomorrow morning, I will have long hair. I don't know exactly how long it will be. I think relatively like here-ish, not exactly sure. I didn't want to go too dramatically long, even though I want to, but the woman that I'm going to go see said that because my I don't have a lot of hair, she has to use like a different type of hair extension um, so that you can't see like the beads. Um, and obviously this kind of next part of the video will be the reveal of my hair extension. So I'll obviously we'll show you them and be able to talk about them a little bit more after I get it done. But yeah, I just want to feel confident with my hair again. My cousin said that these are supposed to actually help with like hair growth because it's putting like a little bit of tension on your hair. So I'm hoping that that's the case because I never had even considered permanent hair extensions before because I just thought that they ruined your hair. But the clip-in extensions that I've been using definitely have ruined my hair. Like a lot of the breakage that I was happening was kind of right where I put the clips of the majority of them. And my hairstylist that normally does my cut and colors was like, you have a lot of breakage like specifically in this area. And I was like, yeah, that's because I've been wearing my hair extensions more because I didn't feel confident without them. So that was kind of the thing. So I'm hoping that these will kind of give, give me the hair that I want and the confidence that I want without having that like aggressiveness of the clips and actually help my hair is the plan. So if you have had a different experience, let me know. 
I'm sure that there are definitely horror stories out there and I am a little bit nervous to get these permanent extensions, but for the most part, I'm excited. So anyway, that is my hair journey so far. I hope you enjoyed watching and keep watching for the reveal and I will catch you guys here uh, momentarily and see how my extensions were. So for you, be back in a few seconds and we'll talk some more. <laughs> All right, everyone, here is the after the reveal of my hair extensions. I just took a full kind of 360 video that I'll play here while I'm kind of talking about what she did. So obviously it is darker, which is what I wanted because I normally go darker for fall. Um, it's currently October and so she put toner into it so it will lighten up like as I wash it, but I did want to go darker. So yeah, that's the first kind of thing. And then she did two wefts like along my hairline um and because of the type of like because i have really fine hair the type of like pop of the weft is like thinner so i don't have volume wefts which is what my cousin used so i have uh, i can't remember what it's called but they like she literally like sewed it into my hair and i have k-tips on the side that i showed so these little little guys so to fill in kind of my sides and yeah I am very 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 happy with them the length is definitely good because I didn't want it to be like too dramatic from having my hair like here to like way down here um so I think it's a good transition length um, and getting used to <laughs> Sorry, Carrie just sneezed. Getting used to the weight of the hair. Um, I did actually have an extra weft um, from my appointment. So she said, you know, we can save that for later for future appointments if we need to trade out the hair for any reason or if for some reason I decide that I want like a third weft and have more hair, then she can always add that. But for now, I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna go back in six weeks and she'll kind of move up the beads to kind of you know keep the the growth process and yeah i am very 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 happy i will be continuing to touch my hair like this for the foreseeable future and yeah this is it and i finally like feel like back to my old self like this is similar to how my hair looked when I was wearing my darker extensions. Obviously not as long as my extensions were, but I'm definitely like way, like way happier with how my hair looks right now than with the short hair that I just had. So yeah, and it like, you know, this is obviously my natural hair, so it you know blends really well and over time the extensions won't have as much of a fake like texture she said it'll take time like with with washes as it kind of works with my own hair it'll feel more like my hair so that'll be exciting so thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i know that it is one of my longer ones because that's just how it works here on the Watson World channel. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you so, so, so much. So please give a big like to this video. Don't forget to comment. Um, of course, subscribe because I would love to have you as a subscriber on my little baby YouTube channel and share this video if you think it would be, you know, helpful for someone else to kind of have a view of how hair changes throughout the course of one's life and there is no shame in getting extensions if that's what you need to feel more confident or anything so 
again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video at some point. Bye!